Now, black youngster and two of his associates have been arrested for a shooting that allegedly occurred in February of uh, this year at the CIAA um, event in um, in Charlotte, North Carolina. So, um, now, so what allegedly happened now? So, uh, black youngster is a Memphis-based rapper and. He has a, there's another Memphis based rapper named Young Dolph who is a rival of Black Youngster and both, basically these two guys have been going back and forth. They've been making diss songs against each other. They've been making, having social media posts. At one point in time, Black Youngster went to Young Dolph's neighborhood with a bunch of his friends and they were showing guns and, and whatever, et cetera, et cetera. Now, so anyway, so apparently there was this shootout that happened in February. And then, um, I'm not sure exactly why they, they made this, this arrest recently, but apparently, um, some, um, Young Dolph may have been talking about the shooting. The, and that may have kind of led to the arrest. Um, now, if you see the footage of the video, basically these guys turned themselves in, the alleged shooters, the three alleged shooters, Black Youngster and two of his associates, they turned themselves in, and then you see in, in one of the video clips, uh, Black Youngster is saying, somebody snitched, that's what he says, and, I, and, and the implication would be that he's saying, um, Young Dolph snitched on him, told on him, on him. Now, so apparently this was a shootout. There was a lot. There were a lot of bullets fired in the shootout in Charlotte, North Carolina, and um, but Young Dolph's car was apparent, or his van or whatever it was, was apparently bulletproof. So that's why he didn't get killed. Now, to be honest, in all honesty, if I was, if I got rich, if I was rich. If I was a rich rapper, I would get a bulletproof car because you had, look how many rappers have been shot dead in their cars. Not even, not even just rappers, just regular. Look how many people have been shot dead in their cars. There's been, Tupac got shot in his car. Notorious B.I.G. I believe was shot dead in his car. Um, probably had a whole bunch of other rappers that I, or aspiring rappers who've been killed. Not to mention all the, you know, people who aren't rappers who have been killed, shot dead in their cars. So, I would get a bulletproof car if I was if I was a rich rapper. I'd have a bulletproof Jeep or something like that. So, I, nobody could shoot me like that. So, but but anyway, so Young Dolph had the bulletproof bulletproof car. So that's probably why he survived these. He didn't get killed when they were firing. They, apparently fired so many rounds at him um, and now the police have said that they found a rental van a van that was rented by um, black youngster and um, the van I guess maybe had some bullet holes in it so I guess these guys were shooting at each other or something like that or the, their, their crews were shooting at each other and um, so this is what has happened. There's been they've arrested Black Youngster and two of his associates. I'm not sure how far this case will go in court. I'm not sure what evidence they have against him. Um, but it looks like in this case, the beef that these two guys had between them that was a musical beef it went over, crossed over into the street. Now I saw an interview with uh, Black Youngster with um, on Vlad TV. And Black Youngster was he, he was he talked about his beef with uh, Young Doll, and he he said that he didn't. I think he he said something like it wasn't that serious or something like that. He said he the t his town was, the town was so small that they would if they had a problem with each other they would have um, had a confrontation already and so on and then. He you, um, now you know on Vlad TV they always talk about, or Vlad always asks about um, what type of street situations or criminal activities that these rappers have been engaged in in the past, 
And so he asked, um, so black youngster told him about, he used to sell uh, crack, cocaine, and marijuana. He used to sell drugs. And um, he said that he used to sell fake drugs. So obviously people were, they were disgruntled people who he sold these fake drugs to. He said that he had a bunch of, he had lots of shootouts with these guys. So with um, people that he sold fake drugs to. So that kind of seems, or it doesn't seem direct. It's not, di it's not really directly implicating him in the shooting in Charlotte, but it seems to suggest that he was a shooter already. He has some experience with, uh, firing guns or shooting at people or, you know, so I don't know how reliable this case is. I don't know how strong their evidence is, but I guess we'll see.